Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode one of Metallic Rouge. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Okay, I mean, like, damn. I already love the colors, like, ooh. I like San Francisco with it. You have a pretty voice and you have pretty hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Drugs. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn you watch it ass Like shit. Ah, oh, damn it.
gonna explode. Okay, thank God you didn't get all over me. Not surprising that she's one of them too. Kind of made the most sense. There is everybody one. You got really good ways of hiding it. Oh. She gonna get killed. I was joking, show. I was joking. Oh. I was joking. Excuse me. No. You think that's going to stop? Oh, damn. Poor baby. I mean, wouldn't it just be better to go underground, literally to keep her hidden? Make sure there's no poison in it, though. Uh-oh. What in the plastic memories is this? Oh my god!
Uh, you gonna repeat again? Mm, uh, no! Dead. But maybe someone close to her? I already love this. I will probably definitely be watching this again. Why? Thank goodness he didn't die. So. I like chocolate. Chocolate sounds good. I'm just chocolate. I mean, I get it. Chocolate is good, but y you need food. Grown up, you're going to kill her. But you know, necessarily, you can't always run from your past. Your past always comes up back in some weird type of form.
any normal human would have been dead. See, you say that, but <laughs> lie detected. <laughs> Then prove it. Well, he was a dick. Oh. Yeah, but <laughs> what if she really gets her? I mean, <laughs> maybe she secretly wants to save the city or something. I don't know. Well, I mean, well, number one, you're a robot, so, um, yeah.
She don't even go boom or anything. Just damn. Take your chocolate. You earned it. Okay, I got a lot of fucking questions about this. First initial thoughts, this is still beautiful, good as fuck. Oh my god, Bones, y'all did the shit with this. It is, we eating, we eating good. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But it does make me wonder on why Naomi and Rouge are doing what they're doing. I mean, are they, I wouldn't say these two are the bad guys in per se. They're the good guys in this story and such. But we know that the people who was working, well, the guy that was working with Viola, He's bad. Viola is in between, but, excuse me, did she get her core taken out or something? Y'all didn't really explain that. What, what's the, what's the core, rainbow core got to do it? Something. I need, like, some kind of context. It, it gives me feels to, once again, like, Cyberpunk's, um, series in a nutshell. But, you know, also with robots and shit like that. Um, I am also getting Akudama vi uh, drive vibes of this, but it's only because Naomi is played by Tomoyo Kurosawa, who is also in that show as well, because still, that is, like, one of my personal favorite roles of her. Even though everybody's like, no, like, it's Sound Euphoria, I'm like, or it's Skip to Loafer. And I'm like, no, Akudama Drive, her is Swindler, 10 out of 10 would fucking recommend. Um... But yeah, I got some questions on this. Like, yeah, but they, they, mm, and like when you look at them together and initially, especially with adding the singing in this episode, I kind of got feels towards Carol on Tuesday. Not only because of that, due to, um, especially with the fact is they're not on planet Earth. They're on planet Mars with this show. And then with Carol on Tuesday, they were on, I, they had to be like on, planet mars or something at the same time as well so of course we know it's taking place in the future and us but yeah yeah i got a lot of you know thing <laughs> going through the gears of my head right now but no this was a really pretty first episode i mean of course because studio fucking bones and you know i haven't really been this excited for like a studio bones series since what season two of my hero yeah and that's a long fucking time ago, really. Truly, honestly, it was. But it is very pretty. But I also can tell that we're going to get very dark with this show. Um, So hopefully with these two, we do get backstories on Naomi and Rouge equally. Because right now, there still is an air of mystery. It is also fucked up with these drugs or... The, well, I'm still going to say because they're drugs in a way. Um that these robots need to sustain their lives and if they don't have it within a certain amount of hours they die of course they're selling it to other people for like the highest uh <laughs> bitter uh highest point of money people are stealing them and you know with humans it's more of a like we don't give a fuck about what you think and such and what the fuck you're doing and so in this world these robots or these yeah these people they have no like right like the humans are still above robots regardless so i felt like some ai shit about to happen everybody the robots about to kill us yep robots are about to de destroy the fucking world slash mars and, you know honestly i'm here for it but yeah no this was a really damn good first episode but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode one of metallic rouge if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode two but until then i will see you guys the next time bye